Hey everybody, I hope you're doing great today. So I wanted to let you know that today may be the last time that I'm recording in this office. I'm probably going to be recording in my new office for my next video, which is kind of bittersweet because I'm really excited about moving to the new office because it's going to have better lighting and I'm going to be able to continue to provide you with tips, tricks, and great ways to help you make your Mac, Windows, and even Linux computers work and perform better. But it's kind of sad too because this is the office where I've made all my other videos. And so we're going to have to say goodbye to this office. But I'm excited for the future, and I'm still here with you making great content so I can hopefully help you out. So today I wanted to share with you how you can easily and quickly sync up two folders. Maybe you copied a folder from a server at work onto your local computer, and then you were working on it and made a bunch of changes, and then you go back to the office and you want to sync all those changes back to the server. Well, I'm going to show you exactly how to do that. So, let's go over to the computer. I'm going to show you what software we need to download, where you can download it, and then how to use the program. So, let's go over to the computer real quick. Okay, so what I'm going to use is I'm going to go onto the internet. I'm going to use Firefox. So, you can use any browser you want. I just prefer Firefox. It works. I don't have any problems with it. And then we're just going to go and search on Google for sync to folders and I'm specifically going to search for version 2.3.9. Now there are other versions that will probably work with your computer as well. Maybe even an older version. This is the last one that would work for my operating system at the moment. But I wanted to show you where you could go and again download any version you want but you'll do the same similar steps. Now I'm going to scroll down and I'm going to go to file hippo. And I'm going to download Sync2 Folders 2.3.9 for Mac. Yours may be 2.4, 2.5. I don't know. But you'll do the same steps. You'll just go and download it from a website that you trust, whether it's File Hippo, Major Geeks, or maybe it's the actual manufacturer of the Sync2 Folders program itself. So I'm just going to scroll down a little bit, and then I'm going to click on this button that says Download. Now, it's going to ask me in just a minute if I want to open it or save it. So, let's just give it a moment to pop up, and then I'm just going to tell it to save and click OK. Okay, so here I'm just going to click Save, and I'm going to click OK, and it's going to immediately put it into my Downloads folder. So, I'm going to click on Finder right here, go to my Downloads folder, and then there is the file I just downloaded. So I'm going to double click on this and what it's going to do, it's going to extract that zip file so it's not compressed anymore and there's your sync to folders application. So I'm going to drag this over onto the applications folder and let go and it's going to copy it into my applications. Now I'm going to go into the applications folder, scroll down to the S's and as you can see there's sync to folders. So I'm going to open this up. And then, of course, you're done with the web browser. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to close this. Oh, now, if you get this message, that's perfectly fine. Just click OK. And all you have to do, go back over to your applications, right-click on it, or, or you can control, hold down the control button and click, and then you can click Open. And it's going to want to verify. And then ask, are you sure you want to open it because it's from an unidentified developer? And that's perfectly fine. Just go ahead and click open. Now, again, make sure where you're downloading the file from is safe and you trust it. File Hippo is good. Major Geeks is good. Even the company that made the software is good. But just make sure where you're downloading it from, make sure they're safe, they don't put viruses or malware or Trojan, anything like that in the software. I don't want you to have any problems with your computer. So here's the Sync2 folders. <clears throat> and as you can see, I've already got some folders in there. Well, I created two folders right here, folder one and folder two. So I'm gonna drag folder one to the first one. 
and I'm going to drag folder 2 to the second one, the target. Now, if you'll see, there's reciprocal, and what that'll do is it'll copy any changes between the two, and it'll make the two look exactly the same. So if you have the same file in both of them, it's going to take whichever one has the newer date, and it's going to put that in both of the folders. And then if you have a file that's in folder 1, but not in folder 2, it's going to copy it to folder 2. And the same thing if it's in folder 2, but not folder 1, it'll copy it from folder 2 to folder 1. So, hope that's that made sense. It'll basically just make the two folders look the same, and it's going to take the two files, and it's going to compare them, and it's going to copy the newest one to both of those folders. Okay, now, you want to make sure that Manage Dates is turned on, because as you can see, if two files have different modification dates, the newer one is going to replace the older one. If it's not checked, only the files not present in the other folder will be copied. So that's something you could do if you don't only want to copy the files that are not in one of the folders and it'll copy it to the other. It'll just ignore any of the other files and it'll ignore the dates and it just won't copy them. So that's something you might want to do too. Now, it can also delete items immediately. What that means is if folder two has a newer date than folder one's file, it'll delete folder one's file immediately and copy folder two's file over to folder one's file. And that way both of them would have the exact same file, exact same file date. They would be identical. And then of course you have these others where the source completes the target, meaning the source is the primary and the target is the secondary. And so anything that's on the source is going to be put into the target. And you're never going to accidentally overwrite the source. This is really beneficial if, for say, you're copying information from the server to your computer just to view. And you always want to overwrite what's on your computer. You never want to update on your computer. This would be beneficial. But it might also be beneficial if you do source replaces the target. Because what that'll do is any file that's on your computer or on that folder that is not on the other folder, it's going to delete that file. That way, the two folders are 100% identical. And it took all the data from folder one, and it didn't take any of the data from folder two. So those are just a couple things to keep in mind. Another thing I like to do is I like to do a simulation first. So what that'll do is it's going to show you exactly what files are going to be copied, what files are going to be deleted, and which direction they're going to be going. Now here, under source completes and sorts replaces the target, it's always going to go from the source to the target. But if you ever do reciprocal, this would be nice because you would know which folder has the newer file, and it'll show you which direction it's going. So as you can see, if I do a simulation, Okay, and you might get this register. You can hit cancel, but at some point it might be good just to pay them $6 since you are using their software. But you can see right here, it's going to copy these two files. One is a Word document, one is an Excel document from folder one over to folder number two. Now, if you'd like to see another one or have a few more files, I'm going to change this from folder one and I'm going to go in there and I'm going to choose my documents. That'll be a good one. And I'm going to hit open. Now watch. You're going to see there's a whole lot more files and folders that are being copied. But they're all still going from the documents to the folder too. And that's exactly the way you want it. You want it to always copy what is not in folder 2 at the moment. And you want to copy that from folder 1 to folder 2. And if by chance folder 2 did have something that was newer, you would want to see it copying from folder 2 back to folder 1 or back to the documents folder, either way. So all you have to do when you're ready to actually make that copy, you just uncheck simulation and just hit synchronize. And then, of course, it's going to keep prompting you to buy it. And I would suggest that you go ahead and buy it from them if you use this long term because I'm just showing it to you now so that you can know how you can use it. So I'm going to hit cancel. But this is a great piece of software. 
and as you can see it did copy everything from the documents folder to the folder 2 and just so you can see that if I open up folder 2 look all of that is now in folder 2 and that's exactly the way I wanted it because that allows me to make copies of different folders and keep them all synchronized and that way if you have stuff that you're working on from work at home on your laptop and you get back to the office and you want to copy it back so everybody else has access that is a great way to do it so i really hope that was helpful on how you can use sync two folders on your mac just to keep two folders synced up if you have any questions about this or anything else please leave it down below in the comments and I will do my best to get back to you as quickly as possible. And as always, because y'all do such a fantastic job at this, please hit that like and subscribe button. I love creating this content for you all and I would love to be able to keep putting it up. And I really appreciate you all. I hope you have a great day. Please take care. God bless and I'll see you next time. Bye.